dear friends what we are going today is the shiva sutra fourth technique it is the breathing technique shiva gives more importance for breath breath is everything one minute you stop the breath you are dead all your emotions all your thoughts all your thinking it all depends upon your breath you just stop the breath thought is vanished you stop the breath your self is removed your name you forget your wife you forget your job you forget your qualification you forget you are going in a bike a lorry comes you are about to dash you know within a minute you are going to die within a second you are going to die the breath is goes inside stops or if the breath is out it stops you cannot take it sudden shock what happened will you be relaxedly leaving the breath and taking out will you be thinking about your wife or money or your children or your husband or your qualification or your desire or wishes everything vanishes only awareness that awareness that's what shiva calls air goes out it goes out it is get struck when the air comes in it is inside it is not going outside that particular moment that particular moment is the time when your self is completely vanished you are aware only with you just no life no death this is very difficult for impure this happens for ordinary man so <coughs> by this let us start here when you are driving a riding a bike you are about to die meet with an accident your heart stops your breathing stops you are not aware of anything that is the moment the moment of full awareness this particular technology is taught in various countries eastern countries japan the jin monks used to do this method it is now become popular in us to make yourself aware this methodology is taught many saints have become through this technique here coming as the breath stops your thinking stops as the thinking stops what happens you are aware in north india <coughs> there is a function called kumbh mela do you know about it kumbh mela foreigners come there to see what is happening two crore to three crore people come there out of them 10 or 20 percentage of the people who live in himalayas naga swamis they don't wear dress all swamis there are varieties of saints swamis who live in himalayas kailash they come on that particular day and kumbha mela to take a holy dip in the river ganga some come in horses some bring their lion tiger some come in bike 
some complete naked with full beard, pasting all the body with the holy ash. Thousands of people come there to watch. They don't take food. They take Marijuna, Kanja, this is their main food, leaves they eat. You see them, one minute you got, you get shocked. You see thousands of people coming naked at a time. What happens? Because you are living in a different way. You suddenly find crazy people like that. You will be shocked whether these type of people are living and they will be shocked to see whether these people are living like this. That particular shock, it is only for people with the impure mind, they get the shock. But the people who have the pure mind, wisdom, knowledge, whatever happens, he is centered in his place. Nothing affects him because many times he pauses himself. No emotion can disturb him. Suppose if you are with that, if you are with that role, what happens? You die, you perish. Your father says something. Your friend says something, your lover says something, your husband says something, your wife says something. You feel like committing suicide and dying. This is for impure mind. This is for people without any strength in the mind. But people with the pure mind, people with wisdom, people who know what is life. And people who pause in own, their own self. For them nothing is going to affect. Whatever happens, it happens. Because they are just doing their role. They are not identified. His name is Jagan. He is not identified with Jagan. He is a software engineer. He is not at all identified with software engineer. He is husband. He is not identified with husband. If you identify yourself, then you become that itself. When you become that itself, then what happens? You are unable to take anything which happens, some problems. So you get heart attacks, heart failures, committing suicide. The most important thing what you should know is when you breathe faster, 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 it means you are taken by emotions. When you are in anger, your breath moves fast. When you are sexually taken, your breath moves. When you are in desire, you want something very badly their breath moves faster. That is why people see your face, your eye movement, your breath movement. They can see whether you are calm, whether you are able to pause, whether you are able to control your breath, whether you are able to control your emotions. A person with the slow breath, it shows that he is in control of the situation. He is in control of his emotions. <coughs> that is why Shiva says to Parvati, Devan says to Devi, the breath which goes in, it gets stuck in. When the breath goes out, it goes out. You pause. In this pause, you realize the awareness. This is for average and below average, not for the people who are having pure mind, who know what his life is. So this happens in your life often. It happens to you in your life often. Anger and sex, the more breath is left. In Ayurvedic, it is said that sex is dangerous 
for your health. Ayurvedic has been written thousands of years back. But the modern medicine says sexual act is good. It relaxes your body. Circulation of blood happens. It is a tranquilizer for you. But you have to think thousands of years back Ayurveda was found. That time people used to work, physical work was there. So sex is one extra effort. So they to control it. But now men will, men never works physically. Everything is made by machines. Everything is made by computers. All the work is done by the computers. So now in this present world we need sexual act to relax as a tranquilizer. But in anger and sex, you are impure. Your mind is impure. So here, learn this technique. Leave your breath. Stop for one minute at the most and see what is happening. With this fourth Shiva Shutra, please sit erect. Your palms crossed. Take a deep breath. Let the breath go down, 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 up to your navel. And the prana. Let the breath go out, 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 out. Imagine you are traveling in a bus. Imagine you are traveling in a bus. Night time. Air conditioned bus. Suddenly a short circuit. The bus has caught fire. The bus has caught fire. Driver applied the brake. The bus is in con not, con not in his control. It's skidded. Started rolling. What is your breath now? The breath stops. If the breath goes out, you are unable to take the breath. Think about the situation. Feel. At that particular time. Do you remember your name there? Do you remember your bank balance there? Do you remember all your jewellery there? Your job, your profession, your love, all your gadgets. That awareness at that particular time. can be got only by the average minded and below average minded people. But for the people who have wisdom, who knows what's life, <coughs> who is deep in understanding the mysteries of life, for him, Always, most of the time, he is in pauses. Nothing affects him. So, Shiva Sutra 4 says,
the difference between impure mind and pure mind. Impure mind, suddenly you get affected. Pure mind, already there are pauses. Whatever happens emotionally, you are not at all affected. In this time I want to say, Shiva, with his all his sannyasis, all Naga Swamis, he took a procession. He loved Devi, Parvati. Parvati is the daughter of a king. Shiva is a Paradesi. No house, no home. Burial ground is his place. All his friends are sadhu, swamis, with no house, no family, no clothes to wear, some naked, some with long hair, dancing, taking ganja. But Devi loved his Shiva. I want only you. Only with you I want to live. I don't want my kingdom. I don't want to be the princess. She compelled her father. Dutch and her father agreed for the marriage. On a particular day, Shiva comes with the procession of his friends. Naked Swamiji's. All face, body applied with the holy ash. The people in the city were shocked. Everybody's heart paused. They cannot believe what type of people are they. Shiva married Dacham's daughter Parvati and took her. Three sutras we have taught. This is the fourth sutra. Devi asks. What is life? What is breath? What is everything? He says all these philosophies. And this fourth philosophy is very important philosophy. Very important technique. Very important meditative technique. It is scientific tantra. This tantra says one minute pause. No breath, no thought. No thought, you are aware what you are. No emotions, nothing can take you. Dear friends, let us have a lot of pauses every day. And let emotions not take control of us. Even if it is 10,000 people in the ground, audience, you come to the stage, your breath pattern shouldn't grow faster. You are in a normal situation, normal condition. You are pausing. Nothing is affecting you. The insults by the audience, the disparaging messages which they tell you, shouting, your business is gone, your job is gone, your jewels are stolen, your wife has left you, husband has left you, your son has insulted you. Nothing. They are just coated outside. Just coating. Your inner self remains as inner self. Your conscious remains as conscious. Nothing is affecting you with this philosophy. Today we shall start the class. Slowly open your eyes. I will just give a brief, dis brief talk on Tamil and after that we shall end the class. Start the class. Nanbargale Shiva Shutra Thile Nangavadu Tantra Parvadi Shivanidam Getkirar Ayya Yanaku Valkai Unarvukal Unarchikal 
இவைகளை பற்றி மூச்சை பற்றி சொல்லுங்கள் என்று சொல்கிறார் மூன்று தத்துவத்தை சொல்லிவிட்டார் மூன்றாவது பிரீதிங்கில் மூச்சை பற்றி நான்காவதாக சொல்லுகிறார் பார்வதியே தேவியே மூச்சு இல்லை என்றால் உயிர் நின்றுவிடும் அதே போன்று ஒரு மூச்சு எடுக்கும் பொழுது ஒரு சிந்தனை சில பேர்த்துக்கு கோபமாக இருக்கும்போது நான்கு சிந்தனை ஐந்து சிந்தனை என்று வருகிறது அந்த கோபத்தில் இருக்கும் பொழுது உணர்ச்சி வசப்படும் பொழுது உனக்கு என்ன செய்கிறாய் என்பதே தெரியாது மூச்சு அதிகமாக வரும் பொழுது மூச்சு அதிகமாக வரும் பொழுது நீ மனிதனே அல்ல மூச்சு எவ்வளவு கம்மியாக குறைவாக இருக்கிறதோ அந்தளவு நீ மனிதத்தன்மை அடைகிறாய் இறைத்தன்மை அடைகிறாய் என்று சொல்கிறார் கோபப்படும் பொழுது அதிக அளவிலே மூச்சை விடுகிறோம் எடுக்கிறோம் அமைதியாக இருக்கும் பொழுது அந்த மூச்சு எவ்வளவு சாந்தமாக வருகிறது என்று பாருங்கள் ஒரு மனிதனுக்கு ஒரு நிமிடத்திலே பதினைந்து தடவை மூச்சை வெளியே விட்டு எடுக்கிறான் ஆனால் நல்ல தத்துவ ஞானிகளுக்கு வாழ்க்கையை புரிந்து கொண்டவர்களுக்கு ஒரு நிமிடத்திற்கு இரண்டு மூச்சு அல்லது ஒன்று மூச்சு தான் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் எத்தனை டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பாருங்கள் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் டு சிக்ஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்டேஜ் அறுநூறு சதவீதம் மூச்சினுடைய வித்தியாசங்கள் என்ன செய்தாலும் அந்த மூச்சு ஒன்று ரெண்டு என்று விடக்கூடியவர்கள் பாதிப்பே பாதிப்படைய மாட்டார்கள் சாதாரண மனிதர்கள் எளிதில் உணர்ச்சி வசப்பட்டுவார்கள் அதனால் தான் இன்றைய நோய்கள் பிபி சுகர் ஹார்ட் அட்டாக் கிட்னி ஃபெயிலியர் லிவர் ஃபெயிலியர் இன்டஸ்டைன் அனைத்து ப்ராப்ளம் டாக்டர்ஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து ஏதோ டெக்னிக் அவ்வளோதான் அறுக்கிறாங்க ஏதோ கட் பண்ணுறாங்க ஆனால் அனைத்திற்கும் இந்த மூச்சு ஒன்று அதனுடைய டெக்னிக் கற்றுக்கொண்டால் அவர்கள் தேவையே இல்லை காரில் போயிட்டு இருக்கிறீங்க பைக்கில் போயிட்டு இருக்கிறீர்கள் பஸ் எதிரே வருகிறது ஒரு நிமிடம் தான் விபத்து நடக்கப் போகிறது பார்க்கிறாய் விட்ட மூச்சு விட்டபடியே இருக்கிறது உள்ளே இழுக்க முடியவில்லை உள்ளே இழுத்த மூச்சு வெளியே விட முடியவில்லை அந்த நேரத்திலே உன்னுடைய மனைவி கணவன் உன்னுடைய பதவி உன்னுடைய பொசிஷன் அனைத்தும் மறைந்து விடுகிறாய் அங்கே நினைப்பதெல்லாம் ஒன்றுமே இல்லை விழிப்புணர்வு இந்த விழிப்புணர்வு தான் சாதாரண மனிதர்களுக்கு அப்பப்போ கிடைக்கும் ஆனால் நன்கு ஞானம் பெற்றவர்கள் எப்பொழுதும் அதை அதே நிலையில் இருப்பார்கள் அவர்கள் பணம் பதவி அந்தஸ்து கெளரவம் உறவுகள் மனைவி கணவன் யாரிடமும் அட்டாச்மெண்ட் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய அட்டாச்மெண்ட் இருக்க மாட்டார்கள் எது நடந்தாலும் அவர்கள் அதை தாங்கக்கூடிய ஒரு மனப்பக்குவத்தை அடைந்திருக்கிறார்கள் இல்லாவிட்டால் சீதை ராவணனால் கடத்தப்பட்ட பொழுது ராமன் தற்கொலை செய்து கொண்டிருப்பான் ராமன் காவிய தலைவனான காரணம் அது நடக்க வேண்டிய நிகழ்ச்சி நடந்தது உணர்வுகளை கட்டுப்படுத்தி கொண்டான் போரை தொடுத்தான் காலங்கள் காத்து கொண்டிருந்தான் ஸோ உங்களுடைய மூச்சு பயிற்சியை நன்கு பயிற்சி எடுத்து கொள்ளுங்கள் இது கம்யூனிகேஷன் உங்களுடைய பேச்சாற்றலுக்கும் இது உதவிகரமாக இருக்கும் தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச் meditative state tell us all become gnanis and saints now mm. uh, dear friends shiva sutras fourth technique we have taught you the breathing technique i request my friends to tell what they are able to understand in this breathing technique Let us start with this gentleman. Yes, sir. What's your name? Ramaswamy. Huh? Ramaswamy. Mr. Ramaswamy, tell me what you have understood. Sir. So, breathing is very essential for our life. We take breaths. and uh, <coughs> give up and uh, breathe out for our day day life if breathe it ins uh, come inside if it struts we don't have any life as 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 well as if breathe goes out we did not we there is no life for the rest so as shiva sutra 
told we take less breath and live long thank you very much uh, sir what's your name and please ramohan rama tell tell breathing is playing vital role in our day to day life so based upon upon our emotions the breath will go fast or go down so if you are get angry the breath will go up and if you are normal normal if you are, you are normal the breath will be normal and if you are going by if you are going by bike and opposite direction if there is in car is about to hit then you will be struck so the there we need to the breath will play the vital role and actually this breathing is also depending uh, also based on our uh, expressions also the breathing will also play the role and if you moderate if you are uh, sync with the breath and our uh, speeches i think if it is sync it will be we'll get the actual words out thank you. thank you very much sir now everybody leave the breath don't take it for one minute just control don't take it see what you experience leave the breath out or if you have taken the breath inside keep it inside your stomach don't leave it out just be without anything no breath now leave the breath suddenly stop see this technique in guru class the students will be playing suddenly the master comes he'll be talking with the master happily suddenly master will give him two slaps and he shouts at him he'll be shocked i am very good why master suddenly hit me will completely will be taken aback pause his heart stops suddenly you will be shouting at your master sometimes he will be laughing at you this also makes you pause some unexpected hap things happen to you it makes you to get pause that pause happens once in a while if it happens and if you experience that you are trained up more and more for your maturity more the pauses more the maturity more the pauses more the maturity as days goes by more the pauses and you are in your center nothing is going to affect what is your experience sir next person breathing is uh, most important in uh, woman life and in su- in shiva sutra the breathing technique and breathing is goes in next gentleman over here what do you understand sir to today i learn shiva sutra fourth techniques uh this is very useful because everybody in india almost 50 percentage will be affected by heart attack because you are emotional so all the people in india it will be very emotional and uh, uh it will give more importance to others so that is the main reason it will be most of the people affected by heart attacks so this technique is very useful to them 
Miss Mahalashmi, what do you learn? Breathing technique is most important for us. Uh, breath control the emotions. Breathing techniques, uh, if, learn the, if everybody learn the breathing techniques, everybody control the, uh, their emotions and uh, control the uh, some, they can reduce the some problems in our health. If they control the uh, breath, they can easily communicate with others. The communi for communications, main thing is we have to control the breath. If we control the breath, we know the uh, how to control the breath. We can easily communicate, easily communicate with others. It is not only a breath. It is just air. It is not just air. It is air which is keep us aware. If you always chill and calm, we can ultimately understand the situation and we can act, act according to the situation, which is ultimately required for every life. So we should control our breath, that is emotions, to, to get success in our life. Yes. What is your point? You can speak in Tamil also, your language, whatever it is, the next person. In any language. What do you understand? Breath is a, it's a very concentration. It's a powerful exercise for uh, powerful exercise and uh, uh, what to say powerful exercise that's okay next gentleman out there breathing Tamil, Tamil. according to me Tamil. breathing is a very important in, in human life breathing give the exercise ex exercise to your human mind it's keep alert of human mind. Breathing is very important role in human human next. Manakam Maninik Swasam under the Vada Mukietuam and the Avanudi and Ile over Swasate. Oh, mana dah ni je nilai, wajib awan suasa ikhun bida melalui suasa itu dan demi alam tu kalau ambil kerana, orang mana dah, orang arah ke mana mana aku, orang mulu me mana mana aku, mirip kerana itu, awan itu mulu me aku, pada waktu ini suasa, suasa itu ini dan demi kalau ikhun, ini dan mukjizat itu ini nampu anda, aduk ke itu, fight ke lagi, nampu fight tu orang dah naik hidup pin, awan orang arah ke mana, ni kita kalau world Breathing is a most life, must life. Swasam in bade, namlu tu mukia mana darpo moda, pura lkae. Or example sura na, namlu da adima uir or or uir nambati na amai. Ado swasam mande kunjo kunjo mada ku timing ida kunjo kunjo mada edom dia. Anda amai beti na, orang orang berusia tu kira nur berusia orang orang muda ni ada lada. Nampol apa dia ni, na kongja, nampol bodoh mungkin na lada nampol. Wadakam. Ya, beri beri close your eyes and be in meditative state. Wadakam. Orang mana ni orang ini swasta main beti, kadalul nama kita kuar tu orang mereka pergi orang wara parasadam. Am tiada ilah ada, visi yang galak ke, seidi ilik ke, kau pernah mal. Nidana mana ya, wakil, wakil itu, nama kami juga mem, nalar itu. Sosok ini betul, orang mana itu nore mukia mana tu orang terus terus. Yang orang kalau, orang yang itu agak sosok, sosok mana orang ramah, orang kalau orang mula mula biadik itu orang tu guna bawa, orang kalau fasta, sosok itu itu segi ramah, orang kalau hotel itu biadik itu orang tu orang agak karena mana orang terus terus. Thank you, thank you. Now, finally, we are going to end. Last but not the least, let us do this exercise and end the con session. Now, you take the breath deep. As you take the deep 
your abdomen should bulge just like you take the air the balloon bulges out your abdomen part should bulge it out and keep the air inside and control the breath for as long as possible take the breath inside deep bulge out the abdomen keep it inside your stomach <coughs> just feel what it is no leaving the breath the breath is inside see no thoughts are coming nothing no worries no problems no tension not thinking about anything now leave the breath completely out suddenly stop it no breath inside and you are not taking complete empty no air see your mind nothing no problem at all no tension no worries you are not at all bothered you don't remember your name no purse no money nothing full freedom you are almost dead your body is dead no air is there you are dead a dead man doesn't need any re name fame money nothing this nothing is the reality and you live your life in this nothingness now you slowly take the breath let many pauses be there for you may not the disturbance come and disturb you may not the unnecessary thoughts come and disturb you understand the futility understand the wasteness understand the there's no meaning of all your positions all your money all your so and so which is not going to be there forever they just in the periphery it is not the center your center is you your consciousness with this please close open your eyes rub your eyes and open it rub your eyes and open